Using 125,000 points, I was able to book a business class seat from USA to Korea. This was actually my first time in business class and let me show you guys the full review. Business class is actually completely separated from economy, so this is on the second floor of the plane. And for some reason, it was really empty this day, so I was like the only one sitting in the back. The pillows and the blankets are so much nicer in business class. They also hang up the coats for you. I didn't know that I put it in the storage area and the stewards came later and took my coat. There was so much storage here. There's a little box you could put some stuff in, but it was a little dirty inside and I didn't really have much stuff to put in. They give you a welcome drink and I chose the guava juice and some snacks and the guava juice was actually really good. And you can check out the food menu and you have to pick out what you want for lunch and dinner. There's three, four different meal choices you can make. I did not see any vegan options and I usually do not go for the bibimbap because that's something you could get anywhere else and I chose the steak. They give you nicer headphones. You could watch some movies and listen to music during your ride. There's a little amenities bag, little goodie bag. It included body lotion, chapstick, an eye mask. They also gave me a mist as well, I didn't film it. A hairbrush that I actually used. This shoe little horse thingy, which I don't need. And a nice toothbrush and toothpaste. <laughs> Right away, lunch is to be served and they actually set the table for you with a nice cloth, hand towels, and they bring you out some drinks and your first appetizer. The first appetizer was a scallop and some citrus sauce. It was okay, a little fishy and cold. It was just okay, not bad. The second appetizer was a colorful salad with melon and prosciutto. They gave me a choice of bread. I chose the garlic bread with butter, there's salt and pepper, and dressings. The garlic bread was really cold and hard, but I really don't have expectations for airplane food because I know they don't really have a kitchen back there. The salad was decent. It's nothing special. I actually don't really eat melons because I have a little bit of an allergic reaction on my throat. They also give you a side of soup. Honestly, it tasted like those powder soups that you get at the convenience store. <laughs> Wasn't too impressed. Finally, the main dish, which is the steak. It comes with a side of potatoes and vegetables. The sauce gravy is a little questionable, but they actually ask you how you want your steak. And it was perfectly cooked to about medium rare. I was genuinely surprised that the steak actually tasted really good. It was tender, soft. Wasn't a big fan of that gravy sauce. The potatoes and vegetables were meh, but I was satisfied with the steak. Time for the first round of desserts. It was side of fruits it's in a cheese plate. I honestly was really full by then, but I did really enjoy the cheese plate. The second round of dessert is ice cream or a lava cake. I chose the matcha lava cake. I'm sure you get both if you wanted both. I mean, business class is thousands of dollars. I don't think they would mind if you asked for both. The cake was decent. It was okay. It's not like it's fresh cake, but you know, it got the job done. They offer you tea, coffee, alcohol. I chose the tea. The green tea was actually really good. And you could order as many drinks as you want on the plane. The best part about business class and why people book them for thousands of dollars is the fact that you could sleep flat for 15 hours and get to your destination. No more back pains. This was amazing and luxurious. I would say it was completely 180 degrees. I would say it's like 170. There is a little bit of a hump in the head area, but regardless, so much nicer. You could study, read, watch movies. I honestly didn't really get bored. <laughs> I also hurt my spine, so long flights can make that worse, but business class seats, I was totally fine. About six hours into the flight, I was getting a little hungry and you could actually order hot ramen. They plated it up for you with peppers, dried fish. This is the perfect snack when you're feeling a little hungry. They give you some pickled side dishes. You could also order like a pizza bread, some other crackers. You really do not go hungry on this plane. They have just so much food. So you do not have to worry about being hungry. Another awesome part, they have a lounge in the back where you could sit and chill, stretch. They have a lot of snacks and drink options just in case you get a little hungry during the plane. 
just grab whatever you want. I grabbed some soda, juice, lots of snacks. Sometimes just being in your seat can get boring. So I brought my iPad and I started to do some work. And of course, stretching is very important. This is also the time that I want to refresh my skin. I brush my teeth, I wash my face, and I put on my mask. And I bought this skincare device so that I can use the mask mode and keep my skin hydrated even on the plane because I want to look good when I land. Second meal is served two hours before the flight as well. So I finally arrived at Incheon Airport and throughout the vlog, you guys will see that I take you guys to places where people don't really speak English. That's why it is so important to learn the basics of Korean before you go. And one of the best ways that a lot of people learn different language is through Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone is an online language learning service. You'll pretty much learn any languages that you want. And Rosetta Stone has hearing, listening, and speaking that you guys could do. <laughs> You can learn while waiting at the airport. While you're on the train, go learn some Korean so you don't get ripped off when you're on taxis. I noticed that when I was taking the bus to the rural center of Korea, they do not speak English or take international credit cards. Best thing about Rosetta Stone is that it is interactive, which is so important. Normally, lifetime subscription is $2.99, but with my link below, you get 40% off. Lifetime subscription for $1.79. Learn as much language as you can. So let me know what level you guys are on when learning a new language, and thank you so much to Rosetta a stone for sponsoring today's video. Let me take you guys to the best hair salon that I always go to when I'm in Korea, to Captain's House or Lumio Beauty House. This place is in Gangnam and hands down one of the best hairstylists that I've ever been to. I see a little bit of white hair. I have a lot of white hair since high school. If I lift it like this, you'll see some white hair. Captain thoroughly discusses what he's going to do. I really want to cover my premature white hair and here he is looking at some of the color options. I told him I do not want red tones in my hair. So he recommended a dark color with a little bit of green undertones to neutralize that red color. It's a refreshing hair drink. I always loved how he starts off with scalp protectants. It feels cooling to the skin and it really helps to protect my sensitive scalp. So now the hair color is applied and I always loved how Captain takes care of each strand of hair. He's very gentle. Some stylists are so rough with your hair, but again, he makes sure that you're always comfortable and answers any questions about hair. He's really an expert. Honestly, ask him any questions that you have about hair dyes and haircuts. Now it's time to wait. I think they applied everything. So we're gonna wait for the color. Now they're applying brown shampoo. I never even knew this thing existed. It's kind of like purple shampoo for dark hair. It neutralizes the red tone, so you have that fresh salon looking dye for a long time. For the haircut, I asked for a long layered cut. Captain was saying that there's a new trendy way to do this. Instead of making all different layers, he separated from the mid to the long hair. So you get best of both worlds of layer cuts without making it look messy. Pay attention to how he's lifting the roots. I noticed that he had a small round brush. He puts it under the hair, leaves the heat on the hair for about a second, and now you have perfectly lifted roots. Then he uses a curling iron and only curls up straight, not all the way up, but only to the midsection of the hair, pulls it out and leaves a nice C curl. To create that nice S shape to your hair, he grabs a lower layer, curls it a little bit, let the heat marinate in the hair. This gives a nice separation and shape to your hair, given that natural long layered curl. Captain has explained that the traditional way of doing the layers can make your hair look damaged, but this new way of separating the layers gives you the healthy hair effect. And here's the final result, super clean, easy to maintain at home, just a classy, natural look. The hair dye also covered all my premature white hair, and I love this natural dark brown color with no red undertones. And you see how glossy my hair is.
let me just show you guys what my dorm or one room look like in Korea. The little area that you come into. This is a closet. There's a mini fridge. This is like a little kitchen area, which was really convenient. It's always nice to have a kitchen so you could just boil some water, make anything that you want really. Um, it did come stacked. Some stuff that I need. So it's a little kitchen hallway area. And here you go. This is pretty much it with the, the, the apartment or the villa, the bed, desk. It was enough space for me, honestly. The only thing I don't like about a lot of Korean villas, there isn't any windows that you could open for fresh air. I did open this one, but mosquitoes came in. All right next to it is the bathroom right here. I, I chose this one because it seemed pretty clean. It seems like this is like the heater. It's pretty warm. The only thing is this place did not have uh, laundry inside, so I couldn't do my laundry. One thing people say is Korean tap water is really bad. And I don't know if I'm crazy, but the tap here, like while I'm brushing my teeth, taking a shower, the water smells like chemicals. I'm not even joking. I'm not sick yet or anything, but the water literally smells like bleach. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get to the southern part of South Korea. I needed to go to Taizu province to meet my friend who just had a baby. All you need to do is go to Nambu bus terminal. Exit 5, turn around, and there's a building where you enter to ride the buses. This was my first time taking this bus as well, and it's actually really easy to get to the other province of Korea. All you need to do is go to the ticket booth, there's an English version as well, and click your destination. Select the time that you want to buy the tickets for. It was around 7,001 and above, depending on where you're going. You could also select the seats. Apparently, international cars don't work, so you have to pay cash. But they only take Korean cards, I didn't know that, so I did have cash. You go to the person's booth and buy your ticket there. It seems like they don't speak English here, so I would be prepared to know what to say in Korean. While waiting for your bus, you could eat some food. I went to the Pyeonggi-dum to get some drinks. And they only had squat toilets here. I am not a fan of squat toilets. <laughs> FYI, they could change the bus platform at any time, which that happened to me at this time. It was supposed to be platform 19, but they changed it last minute, so ask around to make sure you're on the right bus. <laughs> this is such a little place. This is what basically outside of Seoul looks like. There's not much English signs here, so it is best if you go here with someone that you know. This is So interesting, she's my trainee friend turned mom now. When returning to Seoul, my friend recommended me to go to the first station because the other minor stations are first come first serve bases, so you might not have seats to go back. And then at night, I was called to do a vocal commercial. This one is also for a big K-pop artist commercial. I do what I wanna check my bank account, eight digits I see. Party. It's about an hour session. It's really easy, and I enjoy doing these. Next episode, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite places to shop, getting your hair and makeup done in Korea for cheap, visiting Itaewon after the incident, and so much more.